Of course, it's just finished from the Stadium Afmas in the Europa Conference League third qualifying round, second leg. AZ Alkmaar 7, Dundee United 0. And it is a very, very embarrassing result for Dundee United. And unfortunately, Dundee United fans, the road, the, the European tour has unfortunately came to an end. And it just was an absolute shambolic performance from Jack Ross's side out in Alkmaar, just outside of Amsterdam tonight. Um, you know, five they conceded about five goals in 14 minutes, which, which, which is completely unacceptable. It's not good enough. Conceding five goals in 14 minutes, it really just isn't good enough um, on the Dundee United perspective. For AZ, it's brilliant. Five goals in 14 minutes. Um, it's... I'm sure Jack Ross will be very angry, frustrated um, after tonight's result. I wonder what he'll be saying to the press. Um, I want in his. I wonder what. I wonder what he'll be saying to the press in his press conference soon um, at the AZ Alkmaar Stadium. And even at full time, the Dundee United fans were like, not the Dundee United fans, the Dundee United players were like, "What on earth has just happened?" Um, they were just abysmal. They well, they were just. Shit. They were diabolical. They were woeful. They were crap. They were. There's so many words to just to describe Dundee United's performance today. And I think the defence. They deserve to be sold because the, the defence was absolutely terrible. It was terrible. Dundee United's defence was absolutely terrible. Half of those goals, they Dundee United just let them score. Because of absolutely awful defending. The attack, oh my god, the attack out of the whole game, I probably saw two big chances. Well, not, not even two big chances, probably two chances the whole game. That's how bad Dundee United were tonight. They were absolutely crap. That's probably, that is probably the two chances I saw personally for Dundee United tonight. And for all the 2,000 or two, I think it was 2,000 or 3,000 Dundee United fans that went out to Alkmaar tonight, I think they deserve a refund. Because they have travelled from Dundee to Alkmaar to watch their team lose 7-0. 7-0 in the Europa Conference League. They had the chance. They were... They were two matches away from the group stages. Sorry. From, from tonight, there were three matches, three matches away from the group stages of the Europa Conference League. Everyone was saying, oh my God, we could see West Ham and Dundee United. But no, that's not happening anymore. And people were saying, and, pe and even, the, even the people in the BBC Scotland studio were saying, oh, what about Europa League? If, 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 you, if you can't, if you're losing 7-0 in the Conference League, you have a full chance in the Europa League. I'm sorry, but you have no chance. Dundee United have no chance in the Europa League if you're losing 7-0 in the Conference League. I'm sorry, but you have no chance. Absolutely no chance. But on an AZ Alkmaar perspective, my God, they were amazing. They were absolutely amazing. Brilliant performance from all the players at AZ Alkmaar tonight. Um, but, you know, I have to give them out of the match. And it has to go to an AZ Alkmaar player. Dundee United were absolutely abysmal tonight. They were crap, like I've already said. But I'm just scrolling down on here. Uh, but if I had to give a man of the match tonight um, for this game, um, I think there's I think there's one player. He played the whole game. It was tied between two. But I'm giving I'm giving it to this player because he's played because he played the whole game. Uh, man of the match for me, I uh, can't really pronounce it, but I'll try. Um, Evangelos Pavlidis. He, um, Pav Pavlidis is uh, my man of the match tonight. Played the whole game, and I think he had a brilliant game. He scored he scored two goals, and I think he did very well for AZ tonight. Um, but yeah, anyway, yeah, anyway, obviously AZ, they got a league game now away at Sparta, Rotterdam, Dundee United. Um, they return back into the Scottish Premiership on Sunday. They're away at Hearts. And yeah, just Dundee United.
what happened.